Real women empowering, scanned women they cowering, Angel Eve, Stellar Blade, Modern Gaming, Outblade, Unrealistic Boo Hoo, that's just Shin Jae Un, Maxim Model, got em reeling, Stellar Blade means gaming's healing, take your bridge over that water, you're a son, not a daughter, pretty face, big tits, transgender apocalypse, LGBT devs holla, then they want $100, ugly and androgynous, no tacos, no sausages, pretty women, cope and see, ESG said I can't breathe, you manifest masculine, I will bring that toxicity. Solve your mystery. One clue. Eve dropped her glasses. Oh no. Upskirt. Ponsu. Upskirt. Ponsu. Upskirt. Ponsu. Upskirt. Ponsu. I don't read. I don't I don't read. What equality means to me? Renouncing all forms of oppression. <laughs> what equality means to me? Not having to do other people's emotional labor. What equality means to me is. All people, regardless of their birth or background, deserve the same respect and opportunity. For some, this will mean being provided aid so they may aspire to rise above social, mental, or physical friction, which might otherwise prevent them from succeeding. We're all in this boat together, and we don't have long on this ride. Be kind. Be weird. Be free. Trans rights are human. What if I told you what nail polish and Wednesday Adams have to say about equality is irrelevant to me when I know that your best friends at Sweet Baby Inc. are the types you're defending even amidst their harassment? I know that your friends are racist, but they don't consider it racist because, you know, white men are not a race. And the only thing that makes them madder than white men are straight white men. And the only thing that makes them madder than straight white men are beautiful women because that's what straight men like. And they wake it up in a cold sweat in the middle of the night. Curse! you ah, all the rage of a man and all the insecurity of a woman ah! hello beta testers <laughs> What a fine day for a ride or a skate. Nothing on my plate, so there's no debate. Stayed so zen, it's like I had a sip of booze. Loosen my screws with an afternoon cruise. World out headphones in, nasty vibe. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Go with the flow to grooves my concern. The only thing that matter to me is my next turn. Shift nose to tail, kick off, hop the curb. Ride loosey goosey, thanks to these herbs. Wavy gravy, nothing can phase me. Two passes by, I'm sure I'll look crazy woke regards choice as problematic like and subscribe if you agree if you disagree press the like button so i know and comment and correct me below now that the normies are talking about this people feel safe you know brave enough to be vocal but it'll cost way more beta testers you'll need to inspire not just your indifferent peers but your opposition as irrefutable as the evidence is, the brain-damaged gold post-moving signals genuine distress, or to use a sexier word, panic. The usual suspect wannabe little girls are trying to liken everything they don't like to whatever they think will carry the heaviest stigma, at least enough to hopefully invalidate your evidence, or at least distract, make it about whatever they can, maybe find ways to mock you? <laughs> You know, it's been years of this weird kind of gaslighting, and I've got a figurative sign I can tap for just, just about every stale, recycled, almost opinion these entities reach for. Liking Pretty Waifu in a video game earns a big reaction from the uglies on the internet, but the acceptable American gotchas, otherwise known as sports games, see no similar scrutiny, and I like to think. It's because it's regarded as a lost cause. Sports games will be making money, and nothing anyone does or says is taking people off those hamster wheels or putting a dent in profit. Woke Western gaming and its gaggle of racist menstruation fantasizers are somehow unaware. Allow me to inform you. The Jiggle Physics Waifu Markets business is booming, and there's nothing you can say or do to stop it. So run to Twitter and whine about heteronormative patriarchal norms because you're not talented enough to organically and effortlessly gain a following in so easy an era as TikTok. 
You could make a VTuber with big jiggly breasts right now to be everything that you hate but actually get the attention that you've long been looking for. And what a shame you can't edit. It wouldn't take charm. It wouldn't take class. It wouldn't take character. Personality? You could just edit something, but you're too lazy to fucking do that. Half of you can't even steal a personality convincingly, but you have big opinions on how other people are supposed to act in the lives that you have incorrectly assumed giant portions of. Beta testers, welcome to gaming's newest patch. Koreans leading by example, hopefully they can teach the Japanese a thing or two, specifically Maxim, have been correctly mocking the cringe sensibilities of your average Hogwarts legacy boycotter who can't go a day without trying to make Stellar Blade about them because self-insertion is how their cult operates and seeing yourself is part of the mantra of the politically correct belonging, representation, diversity, equity and they call it inclusion but as i've said before if there's variety then you have choice and the choice is problematic even larian complained about you picking boring white people which seems to be a theme among these cocksuckers in the industry but their swedish ass actually made a game that could carry the burden of all of that woke america doesn't really know anything about balancing things out because they have been nice and that's the word I'm looking for, infested, corrupted, you know what I mean? Corrupt the young. Because the choice was problematic. They don't want you to pick that. So oftentimes they will exclude what they don't want you to pick. So they'll exclude the pretty, exclude the titty, but they lock Ness ass, still expect tree fitty. Nah, Stellar Blade had 690,000 daily active players on its demo. On its demo, Stellar Blade had 690,000 daily active players on its demo. This is Shift Up, developer of Nikkei, Goddess of Victory, who topped charts alongside me, ho yo. The devs behind Hongai Impact, Hongai Star Rail, Genshin Impact, and the upcoming Zenless Zone Zero. MiHoYo has entered the top 15 largest private companies with a 23 billion valuation. Which one of these is making more money? I dare you to say some broke shit like, It's because of degenerate Cooper addicts. Because none of it changes the answer. Every technical human listening to this exists as the result of heterosexual love. Even if your parents both gay and they banged it into a surrogate, you needed it, didn't you? What was that? I guess, I guess you needed that. <laughs> I'm afraid the pretty women are back on the menu. Rejoice. I love every curvy, big titty beta tester. Your beauty deserves to be represented too. Your choice is not problematic. I delight in making it clear to these entities that without Exodia, they have still obliterated themselves. Your tourists, wannabes, you've been outclassed, outdone, decimated, when it would have taken a reflection because of the clear struggles that you telegraph and project, call us every word and name, but be careful and hope you're not inspiring or motivating because some of us are not who you think we are, but we have no problem playing along with whatever you want us to be. Oh, Eve is transgender. Why don't you buy the game and find out? Keep promoting Stellar Blade. <laughs> The dislikes don't matter, you're just mad you can't get off to it, you've never seen a woman. IGN France used that one. It's just the freeze frame, the angles, the lighting. Yeah, the gaslighting. I've been gaslit for years by confused people who hate themselves almost as much as the incorrect bodies that they believe that they're in. And instantly they recite their cults rhetoric with insults so brain damaged that Dia laughing in my intro is probably enough to send these fragile people's egos into a goddamn free fall. You want to see somebody as small as these people in real life? Go stand outside a club and watch people get bounced. And word for word you'll hear the shit that they tweet hoping for backpats and claps. I'm not a bully. 
I represent the real world and I'm stepping into this because I'm just trying to figure out what's going on with all these video games and, and I'm realizing I have to articulate it in ways that people can understand it because they are also outside of the Fruit Loop Club that you guys are trying to make the new normal, you know what I'm saying? So I say what I say and people line up to be offended as if I'm the artist of a heterosexual couple in a McDonald's commercial, but nobody ever reaches as offended as the radical trans activists that agree with the group of proud racists who live on Twitter spending as much time failing to convince people that ugly is pretty as their developer buddies do modeling the very hard to make women more masculine in their western slop video games. But if you actually listen, you see it is always they them who are the only ones informed and educated enough worthy to dispense the discrimination because they have demonstrated that their stance is valid. So their cult classes, their actions as benefiting the right side of history. May they rewrite any culture's language and race swap or change, alter, deconstruct, distract, disassociate, deflect, discredit, deny, delude. <laughs> And when they call you out, delete and disappear. Ha ha ha. Start target. Oh, top charming. Capcom embracing vocalization, man. It's all I can do is really shake my head. They've managed stupidity impressive enough to believe that stories that have existed from the dawn of time must have exactly us in them for us to quote identify cancerous cringe. These poisonous, insufferable tumors metastasizing in the Western gaming industry have used fear, guilt trips, threats, sexual accusations, and everything you can imagine as a tactic to get their way. But I'm afraid getting people to look at your ugly ass and consider you pretty is an order too tall. <sighs> Sipping the Kool-Aid and kissing the ring? is how you get included and added to clubs. I strain my brain to remember the last person I spoke to that I could hear through their bitch-made ego that showed me in seconds how up their ass they were. You know, you're coughing up farts. You're dealing with somebody more real and passionate than the sanitized, produced slop that you call your personality, that you're using it like a brand in the hopes of controlling. You don't want to compromise, nigga. I'm trying to inform people and spare them the misery of wasting their limited time and money on what they're hoping might de-stress them so they can get back on the goddamn horse. It is never going to be something I consider a fruitless endeavor, no matter how you target whatever funds you think that I'm fucking getting. Everyone needs help sometimes. Only a monster would come between people in that. These outlets were the help that people were looking for. Everyone's susceptible to manipulation and can be tricked via bait and switch out in these streets. You know, they work in the urn. They don't have the time to look all of this bullshit up. You may consider it being, you know, ignorant with your money, but my God, it's going to happen. I'm not selling a car here. And until this YouTube shit can afford me a car or a home or even a better fucking computer to do this with, it sure as hell ain't a career. I'm not a brand speaking to you, carefully navigating no, no talking points, but I do consider myself gifted at articulating things in ways people dare not try to refute. So to any detractors or radicals that are listening to me, I hope that this analogy makes it clear. This flat butt ugly stuff that you're forcing in our face all the time, it's like AI art to you, you know? It can't hurt you, but if you were aware, you'd never pay for it, right? But it's okay, because we know your cult told you that you don't get to understand. And luckily, the future does not need you to. Beta testers, patrons, I can't get enough of you. I want more of you. I don't know why you're not messaging me and showing me what you're doing on your days and your favorite positions when you're in bed. Stuff like that, you know what I mean? And it's not weird because I'm not like running some sort of Nickelodeon show. <laughs> you know, earlier in that Kyle episode, we said a couple of things and, you know, Sometimes you think the cup size is just worth her reaching under the, the wire and then just lifting the bar, you know what I mean? But sometimes you could be wrong. May that thought humble you. As you move forward in life, understand those things may only look big. Men, it's the greatest advice I can ever give you. It's the greatest advice I can ever give you. They may not be that big.